I am Peter Eriksson. So here we are in Belgravia, in the heart of London, at the intimate Lux Hawking Hotel by Kobo. We are here to visit Anetsa with Arasaki Instruction. It's a unique collaboration between one of the world's best restaurants, Arasak in San Sebastián in Spain, and the Como Group. Adapting Arasak's style into a new city is no easy task, but I'm sure they are up to something interesting. So here we are in London at the one Michelin star restaurant, uh, Ametsa, and we're here with the chef, uh, Sergio Sanz Blanco, mm -hmm. uh, all the way from Spain. Tell me a little bit about the background. Uh, how did you get into food in the first place? I start a bit late in the, in the kitchen. I start after finishing my, my degree in the university. Then I decide uh, to try to work in the kitchen because it was a, as a dream for me. And I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still in the... Yeah. In the on fire. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what kind of restaurants did you work in? The first place I work it uh, was uh, a hotel managed by El Bulli, by Ferran Adrià. It was placed in what based in Sevilla, in Seville, mm -hmm. and they were managing a hotel with a two Michelin star restaurant. It was the first two Michelin star restaurant in the south of Spain. And they got me the opportunity to go there. And, and I tried, I felt comfortable. And it was the first, the first time I, I worked mm -hmm. in a proper kitchen with a proper jacket as a chef. Mm -hmm. The first time I yeah. felt uh, as a chef. What is it in food that you think are interesting? There's two things basically. Need to be something that uh, uh, need to be tasty for me, um, and the second one need to be fun. I need to feel fun. I, I need to, to have fun uh, cooking, uh, plating up, showing the chefs how to do, uh, introducing the new preparation on the waiters, talking about that plate. Need to be funny for me. It doesn't need to be something hard. It need to be. It needs to be. Easy, easy going. If you were to explain for somebody that has never been to your restaurant your profile when it comes to cooking, what would you say? I'm a Spanish chef in London trying to show Londoners how we can manage or how we can deal with the British produce, combining with the Spanish way, Basque way of cooking to show how is Arzac in San Sebastian? How is the philosophy in the way of cooking, in the way of serving, in the way of the menu service, on the menu plan? What is your connection with Arzac? Arzac Instruction is a company is uh, owned by uh, Juan Mari Arzac and his daughter and three more chefs that uh, normally works uh, normally work there in the laboratory in, in the same restaurant mm -hmm. and they decide to to create a, a, an advisement company this is the um, the one they have in the UK is the one of the most challenges the challenging uh, project for for them mm -hmm and they decide to move abroad because they felt that uh, here in London at the Halkin they could find the proper place to show how how they do in San Sebastian and how they can how they they could adapt the their philosophy to the to London. So tell me the Basque kitchen is top ranking in the world. Why is that? I need to say that I have no idea. Uh, we just have it. The first thing is uh, the importance um, of the gastronomy in, in their culture. And it's not necessary in, in the restaurants, just at home, just in the small village bars. Uh, it's always there's a, a, the food, the, the gastronomy has uh, importance. Then, then that's the beginning. Mm -hmm. That's the beginning of a successful uh, way of cooking, of, of a successful 
um, amount of uh, well-known restaurants and uh, successful of the name Basque cuisine in the world. Mm -hmm. Creating a new dish, combining the Basque traditions with the English produce, where do you find your inspiration? First of all, we are uh, constantly in touch with Arzac, Arzac instruction. Then uh, everything we do, we do together. Uh, sometimes the inspiration, normally, not the inspiration, but the, the first step is started by me. Because I'm here, I know how the, market, mm, how the markets move, and I ask them, I suggest them, what do you think about? Then uh, that's the first step of a continued dialogue about uh, what, what could we do with that. They can suggest me, what do you think about go for this way with this recipe incorporating our, uh, some of our flavors in, in that plate, in that preparation. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's a success, sometimes you need to forget and to start thinking in another thing, another pro in another product, in another dish. Mm -hmm. But the most of the times <clears throat> uh, when we realize that we have something good, then we realize that we have something to play with uh, goes ahead. I mean, we know we, we don't mm. stop. We, we try we try to to get the, the final uh, good final result. Ametsa <coughs> is a fantastic name, I think. What does it mean? Ametsa means dream in the Basque language. Uh, the the name of the restaurant uh, we decide in agreement with the with the owners of the company. It's a dream um, between uh, Arzac Instructions and Como Hotels and Resorts. Uh, they decide to give us the opportunity or to give us the chance to do it in, at the Halkin Hotel in Belgravia. And is the, the same, follows the same philosophy uh, the restaurant and the hotel. So now you got your one Michelin star. You got a fantastic restaurant in a fantastic spot here at the Hopin. Where will you go from now? That's a good question. That's a good question. I need to say that uh, sometimes, uh, very often I ask myself the question. I need to, to focus my career. I need to focus my, my future, my shorter future even. Uh, but it's harder for me to think uh, out from the Ametsa, out from Ametsa. Uh, this is now my life, is what I choose, is where I feel happy and where I feel I need to stay. We normally in Spanish, we say that uh, los trenes pasan, the trains pass, and sometimes you decide to stay and sometimes you decide to, to pick up. If you were to give a young person that wants to become a chef an advice, what would that be? I would say try to be honest. Try to be honest and true to yourself. At the end, this will be reflected in, in, in the plate. Mm -hmm.